Social media has become a major marketing tool for restaurants, retail stores, and now it's become a major marketing tool for drug dealers. We're talking now about digital dealers. They're targeting teens who are out seeking drugs. So today we're gonna alert you to the signs and symbols you need to be aware of. Joining us now is Chris Paulson, licensed therapist and program director at Aloe House Recovery Center. And Chris, I want you to tell us a little bit about how people are finding these dealers online. Generally speaking, they can search, they can find them on their popular page, trending topics. All over Instagram and Snapchat, there's covert and overt ways people are finding drugs. Drugs are literally at the fingertips of our kids and the presence of apps like Whisper and Kick and even Snapchat and Instagram stories, the texts and the videos disappear after a specific time frame. Yeah. Have you because I was going to ask, law, that's why law enforcement no. wouldn't be able to, they wouldn't wow. be privy to this because by the time law enforcement sniffed this out, it would be gone. Is that right? Because that was my thought is if this is on social media and I'm a random teenager and I can find drugs, if I'm a narcotics enforcement right. agent, I would think I could find it as well, but it's disappearing. So they, they can't trace this. A lot of the social media apps don't require true demographic information. There's an element of anonymity. You don't need a birth date, you don't need a phone number to register. And because of that, it's extremely hard to track down. Hmm. So what do concerned parents do? Look at the child's behavior. And there's two facets to that. There's behavior around electronics, and then there's behavior in general. So surrounding the electronic devices, if you notice that a loved one is concealing their texts, password protecting their phones, uh, leaving to use the phone, becoming anxious if you're in the vicinity of the phone, yep. that would be a red flag. Also looking at the behavior of mood instability, agitation, weight loss, some of the more apparent signs of substance abuse. And I think an important point here is the crucial role that parental monitoring plays. You have to know what your kid is up to, and research shows that if you always track where your kid is, they're 20% less likely to utilize marijuana. So that's just one statistic. But I don't believe that if your child is under the age of 18, that they should have any access to social media, phone, or laptop without your explicit permission and access to all passwords. That's one of the only ways that you can track their whereabouts. And I think you need to educate yourself. You know, places like Common Sense Media, there's a couple of different parent awareness organizations. You gotta keep up with the apps because they come on the daily. And we don't even know half yeah. of these. Dr. O and I were looking at what's Whisper. whisper? Yeah, and that's kick. huge. I think this is just another example as a parent of being aware of social media. We've talked about social media and suicide. We've yes. talked about social media and drugs. We've talked about social media and depression. And if you're not monitoring your child's behavior, you're gonna be behind the eight ball. And certainly we'll have more resources on our website. Chris, thank you so much for being here today.